Opposition leader Don Polye has urged citizens to be responsible and prioritize their family in 2017. Polye, in his New Year's message, said given the current economic crisis the country is facing, more turbulence will be experienced this year. In a media conference today in Port Mosby, Polye alleged that 2017 will not be a good year as claimed by Prime Minister Peter O'Neill. But of turmoil and adsips given the circumstances the country is going through. He said people will be doing unlawful things to make a living as many will not be able to stand the cash flow problem. Even at homes, everywhere, even in the churches, like we've never seen before, and I'm talking from experience, I'm seeing marijuana becoming a normal day-to-day -day smoking habit of dangerously our young population. Our young population is becoming insane. Our young population is losing their head. Common sense is going out the window. Poli adds people to take responsibility and do away with some of their bad habits, such as saving money for their children's future and education. Parents, we find it difficult to control the kids because of this rampant, this uh, ongoing, the continuous intake of drugs by the young population. Schools cannot easily control and contain it in the classrooms. Uh, teachers are sometimes undisciplined themselves. Therefore, the students, they find it not necessary to respect teachers when teachers are not respecting themselves in the classrooms, will find social issues becoming quite common. You'll even find legalized theft, robbing or robbery taking place in our social societies. He added that the government won't do anything to solve the economic crisis, but people must be responsible and help fight corruption in the country. Under these prevailing circumstances, all I can tell Papua New Guineans is twofold. First is the situation. The truthful situation of the country is corruption, the country's uh, economy, the country's finances, the fin country's public service and the systems of governance, the country's social crisis. The truth must I tell. The people know that truth, and as the Bible says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill in his New Year's message said, as a nation, we have so much to be proud of as the country goes through the most difficult years in the history of PNG. And that is the global challenges that have placed pressure on the country's economy. However, O'Neill said the country overcame each and every challenge and we are a stronger country because we are united to face the challenges. Freddie Moe, TV1 News.